Back in July 2017, I uploaded a video of me applying mercury onto a plate of aluminium, and something really interesting happened as there were mysterious fibers growing from the metal plate. Unfortunately, I didn't have any means to do a time lapse that goes on for several hours. In the end, the whole video was a perfect example of potato quality. So I decided to revisit this project with the new 4K camera that I got a while ago, as well as try out something new. Aluminium forms a compact layer of aluminium oxide on its surface, protecting itself from further oxidation. This oxide layer also prevents amalgamation from happening, so I drilled a hole to expose the fresh metal underneath. To further ensure the metallic aluminium is well exposed, I added a few drops of hydrochloric acid. This will serve to get rid of any remaining oxide layer by turning into aluminium chloride, which dissolves away in the solution. I got rid of the acid after letting it sit for a while, and I quickly apply a drop of mercury onto the plate before the oxide layer reforms on the surface. With the oxide layer gone, Mercury can diffuse in between the green boundaries of aluminum microcrystals, as well as forming an alloy with it. It might not be obvious, but if you watch carefully, you can see the size of the mercury droplets is getting less and less as the amalgamation is taking place. And just like what happened in the previous video, the mysterious white fiber appeared once again around where the mercury droplet is. This time though, since all the mercury is at one spot, the effect it creates looks a lot neater. In case anyone wonders how strong the structure is, you'll be surprised how fragile it is. As it continues to grow, it will eventually collapse upon its own weight. This is also a very slow process. What you see here is a time lapse of a few hours worth of footage. Since my prediction to those mysterious fiber is a product of the reaction between aluminum and the oxygen in the air. So I wonder what if I expose the amalgamate to a higher oxygen level? Will the fibers grow at a higher rate? Well, there's only one way to find out. So I came up with this apparatus that would deliver pure oxygen at a steady rate. It produced oxygen through platinum catalyzed decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. I won't go into too much detail on this, as this topic is worth a video of its own. Just like what I did earlier on, I washed the plate with a drop of hydrochloric acid and I quickly apply a drop of mercury. What's different this time is that I will cover the amalgamate with a beaker and constantly supply pure oxygen through the tube over here. Due to the high availability of oxygen, the surface of the mercury droplet is oxidized a lot quicker this time. Also, the fabrication of the amalgam took much less time to initiate comparing to the one at atmospheric oxygen level. The fiber that will grow in a pure oxygen environment appear to be a lot stronger, as they were able to push the mercury droplets aside. What's interesting this time is that the color of the fiber become a lot darker. Instead of the snow white appearance as we've seen before, it took on a slightly grayish appearance. Since the mercury was pushed aside and was no longer in a direct contact with fresh aluminium, no more amalgam could be formed, thus the foundation of the fiber became weaker and weaker. Eventually, it collapsed upon its own weight. And thanks to the power of editing, it allows me to show you the side-by-side -side comparison. Thank you goes to all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone support me on Patreon get to see my video 24 hours before I put it on YouTube.
Anyone support me with three dollar or more will have their name listed as you see here. I really appreciate any of your support.